Dear reader, we don't get a second chance at first impressions. The way to the point is by own end. Never expect the page to lend to making the stage. Set the scene as you fit. Play your part. Be in it. The lead to your own story, all others are walk on roles, and at best supporting cast. As the audience too, you make your own adventure and play it as she lies. No second chances, no do-overs, no more play it again, Sams. As there is no dress rehearsal, and it happens only once upon a time. Socks have souls. The sock chased each other. All their lives, one going left, the others always going right. They loved to be together, but separate, and to each their own. See, left, he was different, and his BFF was right, right from his knitted birthright. It was blindfully blissful, life of the perfect pair, a partnership of harmony, until one day they took a trip to the laundry room. Strange things happen to a socks in the laundry room. It's often a place of life-changing experiences. Some socks never ride again, like they are used to after visit of the laundry room. But some socks, most socks, love and leave it there. Feeling good as new. So, when these socks were thrown into their stew of steamy hot mixing, the left one was worried because the right one thought he had a bad feeling. And right being always right, left left with little to no but worry, and with that his wool began to tighten in pill in panic. But those socks, these socks, didn't have any say in the matter. With no choice, they were set upon a spinning cycle and had to endure the hissing darkness. It stretched them across shirts and over undergarments. Stay together. For what little did they know when and then it was the last time they would ever be together. Just then, there was a roaring rumble and a violent shaking as the whole woolen world was rocked into a wicked, material twisting turn of terror, trumbling, purring, turbulent tailspin. Some of the older rock and roll t-shirts knew how to let go and enjoy the ride as they cheered a few times with seemed sadistic and cruel crying. The socks there came a brief glimmer of hope as stillness settled, but it was soon to be the eye of the storm, the brief pause of absolute silence, where left thought about right, and right thought about left. Then, in a started to rain hot, burning water of steam filled the room. Both socks were thinking, this couldn't be good for our world being. Right suddenly recalled once he heard some genes jive talking about being up to their asses in hot water and barely survived to walk again. But before he could think any further, he was choking upon himself in a whitewash upward spin like the ocean itself had swallowed him up and chewed him around, then spit him out. As the beach afterbirth, both socks were blasted brass over tea kettle, past each other, Countless times, deeply drowning in themselves, soaked and soaked in fear, washing all they had, have a new clean away. By the time they came to, they were foot down, whole end 
over blankets, lost in folds of wet mess molds. Wright blinked once before he remembers being heaved into a hump and a cold ball into the depths of a dark metal orb, oven, and his screaming silenced by whirring endless rotations as if a million moons and suns were burning heat were baskets and baking them. Searing sensations were making them, scarring them, muscles memory over every stitch and fiber. It's forced back together, tighter than before, stiffer and more stubborn, as the heat wave melts them into a new steam-lined pair. Both barks survived the burn, but out came socks forever changed. As the whirly world comes back into focus, the fabric of time has been altered. Soft sounds of gentle life ring two into the socks' souls. Both socks thought, wow, I'm alive. Then they sit and stew in a hot heat pile for a while, then are bounced into a basket and bound for a beautiful reunion where they can roll up together and rest the night. But the problem was right was always right, even when he thought he had a bad feeling and left got worried. It was because of that worry the static cling caught to him to get stuck inside the oven to bake and burn again with the next load. Wright knew that it was true he was right, as left they both thought too was now indeed left behind. Ah. Uh...